Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Good morning, live, well, recorded live from Las Vegas. This is Teddy Covers on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from sbrpicks.com. Let's get right into it. Bad beats, bad bets, bad for the books, like we start just about every show with from last night. Of course, we got big game breakdowns, NFL for Saturday, college bowls, and of course, an NBA showdown tonight. But let's start with a recap of what happened last night from a betting perspective. And we're not going to call it a bad beat. Let's call it a tough beat. There were a couple of these last night. The Heat, minus two and a half against the ice cold Blazers. Miami led wire to wire in this contest. We're blowing them out. They had 91 points on the scoreboard with six minutes left. They still led 94-91 with four and a half minutes left, still covering at minus two and a half. Remember, 94 to 91, they led four and a half minutes left. The final score, they lost 102 to 95. That's not good offense during crunch time at home. A classic team off a good trip is a bet against in their first game back at home. Ugh, Miami backers, tough beat. For most of the game, they were right side, but not down the stretch. Of course, there was a bad bet in that game as well. They were steaming the over in that one. 201 bet up to 204 and a half. It was on pace to go over uh, until the Miami Heat stopped scoring down the stretch. Another tough beat. And this one, I mean, it's back and forth across the number. It wasn't brutal. wasn't a bad beat. But the Wizards, they led by 11 with less than a minute to go, laying seven and a half against the Grizzlies. You know, less than a minute to go in an NBA game where you're up by doubles. Usually you cash minus seven and a half. But supposed to be garbage time, dribble out time. It wasn't. <laughs> the Wizards end up winning by six, laying seven and a half. Oh, tough if you had Washington minus the points. Of course, plenty of bad bets last night. How about the Utah Jazz taking big money against Chicago? Minus three and a half, but up to minus six. No, Mark Kanan for uh, the Bulls. But guess what? The Bulls, this team opened three and 20. Now they've won four straight, all as dogs, and they've all coincided with the return of Nikola Mirotic, who was a monster last night. 29 points, nine rebounds. Adjust your power ratings on Chicago. They've gotten better over the last couple of weeks. And I love these type of bets. The Arkansas Little Rock. Arkansas Little Rock bet from plus 12 and a half to plus 10 against Bradley. They lost the game by 40. Somebody thought they knew something. That happens all the time. In college, you'd be like, why did that money come there? I don't know. Somebody thought they knew something. Oh, they lost by 40. Wrong side loser. Arkansas Little Rock. Bad for books. Oklahoma City came through in the big showdown at Indiana. Thunder, 100 to 95 against the Pacers. And they were bet plus one and a half to minus one in that ballgame. Plenty of OKC money. And look, on Sportsman, I'm not the type of guy that calls out a lot of players. I don't do it. Uh, That's for sports talk radio and guys that aren't betting, whatever. I got to call out Thaddeus Young, though. Thaddeus, what were you doing? All right. One by, sorry, the two-point game, Thaddeus goes to the line, less than a minute to go with a couple of free throws. Hits the first, misses the second, commits the stupid foul on the other end, and now uh, (laughs) Thaddeus Young, uh, you personally probably responsible for Indiana not covering last night. So, No Christmas card for you this year, my friend. Uh, So be it. But nonetheless, that was a bad result for the books with all the money coming on the Thunder. Another bad result for the books was the Clippers, man. Clippers. And again, no Aaron Gordon for Orlando. That was a big part uh, of the Clips' money. Plus one and a half to minus one and a half. Another game where the favorite switched. And another game uh, that the new favorite was the correct favorite. I got a buy sign on this Clips team right, right now. I really do, you know. Uh, Milo Teodisek is back. Lou Williams, the new Jamal Crawford. You know, rarest of the rare with Lou Williams. We're talking about a guy who was averaging a career high in points coming off the bench in his 12th season in the NBA. That doesn't happen a whole lot. And of course, the key for the Clips is that Williams could hurt the team as a starter. The ball doesn't move. But when Teodisek can run the show early and create a flow, Williams bombs away. 22 field goal attempts and eight free throws off the bench this season. The guy is shooting and making a difference. Certainly did last night for the L.A. Clippers. A couple more bad for the books to talk about. Uh, Certainly one 
uh, in Boston last night. No Al Horford for the Celtics. Money came pouring in on Denver. Nuggets bet plus eight and a half down to plus six against Boston. They lost by six. Celtics did enough to win, did not do enough to win by margin. This not a good result for the house by any stretch of the imagination. And of course, as has been happening, the money continued to flow in against the Wisconsin Badgers last night. Badgers got the win. They stole one, 81 to 80. At the end, they did not get the money. Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, plus eight down to plus five and a half. The markets are going to continue fading whiskey until this team starts to cover numbers. Frankly, uh, they haven't uh, even come close yet in terms of pricing the Wisconsin Badgers correctly. We can anticipate a market crash on that team. Heck, we've already seen one. Worth noting one more thing. Got to talk a little MLB props. Uh, We haven't talked any baseball here during the winter, but this is a fun one to talk about. We got a Stanton, obviously, John Carlos Stanton going to the Yankees. Now we got a Stanton and Judge prop. Total home runs for the season, 104 and a half for that duo. At that number, I can only bet under. (laughs) You know, you're asking both guys to hit 50. It's possible. I wouldn't count on it. There's a strikeout prop there as well for that duo. Uh, Check around. For MLB props, always interesting to talk about here on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.